Yes, because we have a much bigger fish to fry, as you can see, coming up next. And if this one worked on the first try, I would be genuinely shocked, because it came from a Goodwill. But you know, label condition, pretty good for a loose cart at a Goodwill store. And this isn't the easiest game to come by, so I'm not going to complain too much, but I fully expect to have to clean this. And I'm wrong. It worked on the first try. Whoa. Let's line that camera up, shall we? Get a good look at this. Might have to adjust the contrast a little. Man. Now, if I can just get it to read controllers properly, I'm going to have some mad fun playing this game. Right now, it won't detect a control pack in there, so... It's going to be a work in progress getting my N64 the way I want it. But, we can move on. And yes, you can already see there's another significant game waiting for us here. So... Remove Banjo Tooie. Focus. Yeah, if this works right on the first try, I'll be hella impressed. Not a perfect label, but again, not an easy to come by game. And it was the only of the Mario Party games for N64 that I didn't already have. And this one is red screening, so gonna require some cleaning of grime to be found on these contacts and hopefully I've gotten most of it. Take a look for yourself. Yeah, you can see some griminess going on there. Some black spots that came off it, but I've actually seen a lot worse. And it looks like we have a winner. We have a Nintendo logo. Mario and his good friends, but it looks like something's wrong. What's wrong, Mario? What could it possibly be? They're talking about who is the biggest star. I'm just gonna skip that. Yes, there we go, the game works.